Hello. So today I'm going to show you how to update the BIOS for a Asus X570 motherboard. I'm going to be doing this on my Asus Crosshair 8 Hero. Um, and so we'll begin I guess. So first thing you want to do is go to the Asus website and um, find your board or you can just type in the name of your board into Google and it should come up make sure it's the right one. I've got the non-Wi-Fi version so it is just the normal hero then you're going to go on support drivers and utility BIOS and firmware and then you're going to download this file here or the latest version of the BIOS um, just read the notes make sure you don't need a previous one before you go to the next one um, and so then uh, you want to open the folder where it saved the BIOS to in this case it's my downloads and then you want to extract this file so it's just a normal folder like we have here and then we can go into that folder and it should have a cap file and an application file so then you want to copy the file which we've extracted here onto the USB stick um, I would suggest doing it onto a USB stick which doesn't have anything else on but I have a few other things on here but that's fine and then you can remove the USB stick um, this is in another computer you can do it on the same computer if you want um, and then we'll remove the USB stick from this PC so there is a specific port on the back of the board here the Crosshair 8 Hero which has a BIOS thing around it and I tend to use that one for updating the BIOS so I'm going to plug my USB stick into there and then we're going to turn the system on and go into the BIOS so we can see the USB sticks in just need to uh, turn the system on and then to get into the BIOS you just need to press your delete key on your keyboard and um, you can see it post in there Right, and now we're in the BIOS. So you can see my current BIOS version is 0506, and we're updating to 0702. So what you want to do is, you want to um, probably reset to defaults to start with, it's just so that your PC's not overclocked or anything, so it's as stable as possible. So that's done that now. Um, so then you want to go on tool and then this top one here Asus EZ Flash Utility 3 and then from a storage device in this case and then you can select um, the folder here so obviously I'm going to have to scroll down a bit there it is at the bottom and then once it's highlighted in yellow just press enter again and you can see there that's the cap file that is what we want to upload or update do you want to read this file? yes there we go and now it will just update the BIOS by itself basically it will say processing for a while So once it's done, it'll probably reboot the system. System has been successfully updated, system will reset. And then it'll obviously go off and post again.
BIOS is updating. Do not shut down the system. That's what it says. So now it's shut itself down again. And it's coming back on. BIOS is updating still. Shut itself off again. Right, and it looks like it's done now. Let's have a look. And indeed it has. So now we're on 702. So that is it. Now, the question is, did it delete my profiles? No. So it's actually kept all the profiles, which is quite nice. So now I can do a bit more testing and uh, see if it's any better. That's it for this one. Goodbye.